It's done. He's real. Oh, why is that so loud? Why did they do that? No options. God, I swear I'm gonna collapse if we don't find somewhere to rest soon. You do tire pretty quickly. Uh, give me a this is VR chat, guys. For the last several hours, and we haven't seen a single motel yet. Don't worry, Kendra. I'm sure we'll find something soon. It will be worth the effort, trust me. Well, it better be. Something has to make up for the ten gallons of sweat I lost in the last few hours. Hello there. What are you two doing in the hey, of the road by is that a custom SpongeBob SquarePants I, truck? Um, I, think I think they've only made a few of those. Has anyone ever seen a custom SpongeBob car before? Imagine just seeing that in the deep south. Some like big, big redneck dude just driving around a SpongeBob truck. I guess we're in the desert. Are they too quiet? I'm afraid to turn it up too loud. Yeah, well, everything else was really fucking loud. That's why it was so low. If it needs to come up even more, we can turn it up more. I'm afraid everyone's eardrums are going to get blown out if we, print, like, turn it up too loud, though. And also, it's poorly mixed, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to get in your weird ass truck, dude. We'll be okay to walk the last few miles. I understand. Can't be too careful with so many wackos running around nowadays. You and your shy friend take care of yourselves. Enjoy your stay in the guest. Yeah, that's what this marathon is gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of games that I've played before. Because I know how to get through them. It's getting dark. And I know that they're short, kind of. I love that loading. It's creepy. <clears throat> Yeah, this is so strange because it shows like we like. Oh wow! It a looks third... a lot better than I expected. Yeah, didn't expect the guest house to look that nice. Now I'm this so character. The inside will be just as good. What happened to your hair? She looks like that. Uh, the what's her name's boyfriend from the very first episode of Picard with like the weird ass hair. It's like te like textures. <gasps> Did you see that? See, this is what I mean. There's going to be like loud ass the noises. Windows. There was a really creepy looking thing. Uh, a man or a boy looking through the window. It was just there a second ago. Jen, I think the long journey Don't you is dare look at me head. like that. How about we go inside, get a room, and you go lie down for a bit. I swear I saw something. It was probably just one of the guests. I guess. She looks like she's I think I definitely fucking need to lie down. stoned or something. Turn around and see that lady, like, fucking... Do you mind getting the room? I'm too tired to do any paperwork. What did you take? Also, her eyes are blue and green? Can that happen? I guess. To interact with people... She looks like she was close to a nuclear blast. 
Yeah. She looks fine until you get up really close and her hair looks like it was like so done. Hair in video games is not there yet either, but this is like something weird. Something weird. Hmm. Nah, I think they're just like friends that were backpacking. This is a savory looking character. Hi, sorry to disturb you. One second. Oh shit. Look at his he's got like some Eddie wait wait, wait what is it? Um Who what makes it? the shirts like that? Um we'd like to book a room for two nights, please. How many like bedazzled how jeans many? for men? How Ed Hardy. Of you, God damn it. Well, Look at his how many face. do you see? It's just the two of us. Don't try to be funny with me or I'll kick both of you out of my motel. It'll be a hundred dollars for two nights. Your room is up the stairs, first to your left. No breakfast served or any meal for that matter, so you better have brought some food with you. I'll need some ID from both of you. Oh, we can give you our driving licenses. I'm going to keep those with me until you check out. Once I made sure you didn't do any damage to the room. The room Jeez. looks pretty nice, huh? Can't what is wrong that. with you? Yeah, me too. Quite happy with this place. Not so much with the hosts, though. Now he was one big asshole. Didn't that guy we met on the road say the Kinseys were a lovely couple? Well, you know what happened to them. Not sure I would behave any better in their position. But that's no way to treat your guests, especially Her head just paying ones. Yeah, I know. Let's just go wash up and get ready for bed. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I'll go take a shower first. Finally get to wash off all this sweat. No, it's not like a porn game or anything. Just a normal game. <gasps> Who's... Whose baby was that? Or was that a small man? Hey Jen, come check this out. Look, what the hell is that? Wow, is that mold? I'm not sure. There's this weird smell in the bathroom. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. Then I looked up and saw this monstrosity. We should tell the owners about this. I can't believe they take guests in with a bathroom in this state. Okay, you go talk to them. Oh, and the shower head's broken. Jen, we don't have, have reflections. One somewhere? Sure, I'll be right back. You're just gonna stand in here? You're gonna make me do all your work? Wait, just two identical bathrooms? This is a hotel, I thought. What what did she want me to do? Go to the laundry room? I just saw a little boy run past my room. This place must be quite special if his parents preferred staying here to somewhere in town, huh? What boy? You girls are the only guests at the motel tonight. What? I definitely saw someone. Look, I don't have time for this. Go to your bedroom. We're shutting the lights soon. There is a huge mold patch on the bathroom ceiling. Are you guys going to look into that? Ah, uh, yes, there's a leak in the attic. The rainwater's causing the mold to grow in some rooms. I'm getting it fixed soon. The shower head in the bathroom is broken, and we're not able to take a shower. You can get a new one in the storeroom. It's over there. A new shower head? The fuck? What the hell is this? Just rob this motherfucker. Thomas has nothing to say to you at this moment. Imagine you got VR for the first time. And you're like, oh, cool. I get, I'm going to try this game out. And this is the first game you played in VR. Who's that? Excuse me. Can I help you with anything? 
Hi, sorry for the intrusion. This is my office. It's off limits to guests. Please leave now. If you need anything, just ask my husband. He's at the reception. Okay. But I think I just talked to him, so I don't need to. Yeah, why is the fucking door open then? Jeez. Why are you so mad? Yeah, it looked like she wasn't wearing pants. It was just like the texture on her dress. Hey, what's up, Afro? How you doing? Going on. All the door out oh, that way. I wish you could run, too. Now what's the problem? Hmm. Doesn't seem like you have anything we can use to attach the shower head yet. Oh, no. I got some stuff. Don't worry about that. Something to attach the shower head? What did I just go down there for? Didn't I get the shower head? There's more. Oh, that's the shower head. I thought that was. Just take some of everything. Just take everything. Oh, cello tape. There we go. Yeah, it's just like a nightmare hotel where you have to do everything. This guy's just like looking at porn on the computer. What are you doing? What are you doing back here? Hmm. All right, we better be all set here now. Ah, there you are. Took you a while to get a shower head. Don't look at me like that. Mm, it doesn't seem to fit properly. I think we need something to properly attach it all together. Could you go downstairs and find something we could use? What if your face gets so wild? Wait, didn't I just get tape? Oh, yes. I think cello tape will do just fine. It works. Now we can finally take a shower. Finally, time for us to get some long overdue sleep. So what took you so long to get the shower head? I waited so long I thought you'd forgotten about me. Took me some time to find it. It may come as a shock to you, but Mr. Kinsey wasn't exactly very helpful in the search. What a surprise. I actually saw Mrs. Kinsey as well. Oh, how was she? I didn't get to speak to her much. I met her in her office next to the reception desk. Her voice sounds familiar. She was very eager to get me out of there. Almost as if she was hiding something. I'm I've really heard curious it. Curious what that was. Oh God, Jen! Please and like a podcast or like a creepy pasta story detective or something. Again. Oh, I think I saw a laundry room downstairs. Since I'm already in my pajamas, do you mind taking our dirty clothes down there, please? No, what? I did everything. I can't move. Ah. I fixed the shower. I got us checked in, and now I have to go do our laundry. What the fuck? I'm already in my pajamas. Man, you're not even under the covers yet. You're fine. What's in here? Meeting room? Coin vending machine. <clears throat> yeah, it's just like abusive relationship. Hotel. In the laundry. I don't have any coins. Excuse me, did I put a I put a twenty in and I got three quarters? Sir? For a twenty? Uh, 
Uh, I think we have a laundry ghost. Sheets. Have you lost your mind? Get the hell out of here. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. I better go and get some rest. Exhausted after a long day of trekking, Jen quickly washed up and retired to bed. It wasn't long before she was fast asleep, her body and mind screaming for rest in equal measure. With the darkness of the night still surrounding the estate, her deep slumber was suddenly interrupted by a distant, eerie whisper. Yeah, I mean, the volume is all over the place with this game. Either it's too quiet, or it's too loud. Can't win. Hey, wake up. You didn't even get under the fucking blankets. If you look down at all, it's like all you could just see is your. It's like uh, Trespasser, the fucking Jurassic Park game. Except she doesn't have the little tattoo as a heart meter. You know? Get closer to open the curtains. There's nobody there. Well, Trespasser, I'm pretty sure the character doesn't have a head. It's just like boobs. An arm. That's all you were. <gasps> oh, it's a little old man. It looks like someone from that show, uh, Chicago, Illinois, the Adult Swim show. Like a mini version of that guy. Locked. China, Illinois. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it looked like baby face, but like baby version. Who's the voice actor for that that character? Forget his name, he's pretty funny. Pass.txt. What? Residential construction. That's not like anything interesting. Net Explorer. This file shows income details for the month of May. February, March, April. Bill for an elevator installation. How bizarre. There's definitely no elevator in this hotel. Bills for construction work for the last two months. Weird. No building work was visible anywhere around here. The file shows the cost of electricity for the first quarter of the year. Cost of exorcist visits dating back to June of this year. Interesting. The file shows the cost of gas for the first quarter of this year. Brad Neely, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, the resolution of this computer is like 100 by 200. Why would you exorcist.txt? Exorcist notes. Spray all the rooms with holy water twice a week. Lock all unoccupied rooms at night. Say a prayer every day in the rooms with the highest intensity of visits. Say a little prayer. Various notes on the construction of some underground production or storage area. Study passcode 3782. Okay. 
Yeah, that's all you gotta do to get rid of the demons. Just spray water. <clears throat> they hate water. Hmm. I think it must be the pass for this thing. Rin. What the hell are you doing? Oh my <gasps> gosh, Kendra. Are you the trying fuck to are you out? doing? It's the middle of the night. What are you doing down here? I'm trying to find one of the keys to the room upstairs. What? Why? What room? I just saw this boy just now. He walked into one of the rooms. He passed through the door. As if She's the ghost. I think Vomit. it's trying to show me something. Jen, what are you talking about? You're creeping me out. Just come back to our room. If the Kinseys find us here, they'll kick us out. And yeah, what's up with the color you? around her eyes? I'll be outside in the dark in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry. I'll be super quiet. I'll be back in a few minutes. Suit yourself. I'm going back to bed. Okay. I don't think there's any actual animations in this game. Like, um... Everyone just stands still. That Goku? Who is this family? Are those crystals or plants? Uh, good question. Um, I can't turn around. I'm like stuck on this drawer. There we go. I'm like fucking stuck everywhere. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to move in this game. There he is, Thomas Kenzie. It's Texas. The metal cabinet seems to be alarm protected. It would not be a good attempt, a good idea to attempt opening it. Nah, he just kind of like looked like, like random Russian dude. Pretty sure this is like a Russian game. This place is a mess. What is all that supposed to be? I think there's something in the top drawer. Oh, yeah. I can't select it, though. Well, there's a gun. Can't do anything with it, though. I'm sure I just picked up a key, too. the Kinsey's bedroom, so perhaps it would be best not to open it. Basement. The, this door seems to be blocked from the other side. Or locked, right there. I think there's going to be a baby alien down here. Ah! God damn it. I wasn't expecting that. Um, were there any other? I heard someone running. Are there any other numbers? I don't think they've given me any. His birthday on his license? Maybe. Good idea. Maybe should be like that. Maybe you're just supposed to go back to sleep. I tried to open that door, you couldn't. No? 
I guess I could try again. I thought it wouldn't work though. Locked. Oh, the keys though. Someone sealed this little compartment with screws. Perhaps it would be possible to open it with the right tool in hand. We need that screwdriver from the last game. It looks like there's a little drawer there, but you're not able to point it, pull it out. Someone forgot to put a handle on it. Pretty sure I got handles. I'll start. My God. She just like jumped up and clotheslined me. Hell yeah! I don't think there's anything in here really. Baby pants? Some little baby pants. Anything else? An SCP for the Unity Engine, that would be pretty funny, actually. It makes you fall out of the map in real life. You just start walking and fall through the ground. No, I'm just kidding, Unity is great. Yeah, I missed something, though. Oh, right, there's an attic. A long hook. I think I gotta go get the thing downstairs. Oh yeah, Godot is something I just heard about the other day for the first time. It's a handle. How about that. Glue. Oh, there's the long pole. Probably beat the shit out of somebody with that thing, too. Imagine if you just walked back into the lobby and the piano music started playing again. Imagine if that guy just punched me in the face. We're snooping around the hotel. I thought I grabbed a thing that could go on there. That being said, though, I feel like I've only played, like, one game with that was made in Godot. Wait, what the fuck did you just say? There's nothing there. Oh, someone boarded it up. really anything in here. You can't open that door. It's 
So we need like a screwdriver or a hammer or some shit. Probably the last room that hallway. Damn it. I think there's a cabinet in the junk room in the back, right? Just gonna check this. You never know. Nothing. Back to wearing a thug, you think? Let's check it out. Yeah, if you could run even a little bit quicker, you'd be. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was another drawer. Oh, the fucking fuses. I forgot about this. I remember that part now. The screwdriver to open the drawer, and then in the drawer, there's gonna be like a key or a hammer, and then you open up the other thing, and then that, and then, you know. Continue from there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta spoil it. A little too scary. There we go. <gasps> Not the baby. So someone killed the baby with a crowbar? The fuck? A new day. A new beginning. Today is the day we become the proud owners. Why is it so loud? The Kinsey Inn. It has been a long and painful journey to get to this point, but we can finally leave the past behind and start our new life here. Free from prejudice, free from judgment, just the three of us and the love that we have for each other, always and forever. I don't think this went too well. Running a guest house is proving much harder than expected. The work consumes every waking moment we have. We can't just afford to hire any helpers, so it's all just down to me and Tom for the foreseeable future. Sometimes I really wonder if we didn't bite off more than we can chew. If we didn't bit off a bit more than we can chew. The daily grind is starting to take its toll on, on Tom's mental state. He's become much more impatient and short-tempered. But I know that we'll be fine in the end. We've been through much worse before, and as long as we have each other, we can get through anything. Mm -hmm. This is just like The Shining. It's been three years now since I last had any contact with my parents. I really wish things didn't turn out this way. But there was no way I was going to leave Tom, not for anyone or anything. I love him so much. He's the heart beating beneath my chest. I just wish some people were able to see past his background and judge him for who he really is. Tom was raised in an orphanage, so he never knew his parents. It pains me to think that our son will grow up without any of his grandparents by his side. But he will always have us in our love. And when he's grown up and ready to see the world, he will always have a home to come back to. I only can kind of see him. I couldn't even fucking see him all the way. Having had enough of the night, Jen swiftly locked all the doors she opened and returned, the keys taken from the office. 
She then retreated back to the relative safety of the girl's bedroom, only to find herself unable to fall asleep, her mind tormented by the events of the night. Yeah, it looked like he did run into a doorknob, Candace. For a second, I thought you were never going to wake up. How are you feeling? Are you ready for a little hiking trip? Mm, give Listen, me a second. I'm just fighting ghosts ready. all night, Hurry, okay? We want to catch as much of the daylight as we can. Okay. I'm coming. <sighs> What a cool place to go for a hike, too. Just like crazy, but I think the Kinseys are hiding nothing. Something. Oh no! Did you look at stuff you weren't supposed to look at last night, Jen? Well, I managed to get inside that room at the end of the hallway. I think it belonged to the boy. I found a few pages from Mrs. Kinsey's diary lying on the floor. Oh God! Please don't tell me you read her personal stuff. Well, you drinking? I I couldn't help it. I didn't even know what I was reading at first. So, what did it say? Just some random stuff about her life. And actually quite a Ooh, lot about you just like flip she your head around very much Ugh, what are you so doing for her. well then why do you think they're hiding something because i also found a metal rod covered in blood in the room and the bed also had blood all over it do you think they did it i don't know if but you like why would you murder someone and just leave the at first murder scene out like that now i am sure what i saw was real there must be oh, no, some it's reason why the boy man. soul is clinging to the motel and is not able to move on. Okay, okay. Let's take a step back here. Metal rod covered in blood. Ghosts. Are you listening to yourself, girl? Gosh, I told you it would sound crazy. It because looks so it crazy. fucking weird. Now, what are you two arguing about? Everything okay there? Oh, hey. Yeah, everything is fine. Just saw a few strange things in the motel last the night. The SpongeBob my friend thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> well, you may not be the only crazy one. I did hear a story or two about that motel. Some disturbing things happen there at night. Oh, so I'm not so crazy after all then. What things happen there at night? Heard some talk about a little boy appearing here and there. I always dismissed it as a figment of some people's overly wild imagination. But I'm hearing it so often now, I'm starting to believe it myself. Oh my god, now I'm seriously creeped out. Why didn't you tell us about it before? Sorry about that, I, I just thought that was crazy talk. And you told us thought that Kinsey's was crazy are such talk. a nice couple. Well, guess what? They're not. Yeah, Mr. Kinsey in particular was very difficult to deal with. Typical rude redneck. Wait, what? You heard me, rude redneck. Um, are you sure we're talking about the same person here? Yes. Thomas Kinsey, white dude, average height, mid-30s, skinny man with a lot of attitude. Guys, I met Mr. Kinsey in person when he just moved to this area with his wife and son. Thomas Kinsey is an African-American, and he definitely ain't no skinny man. His arms were the thickness of my whole body. Whoever you met in that hotel is not Thomas Kinsey. What? Are you messing with us? I promise you, I am not. I'm not big on jokes. But I saw his photo ID. It showed his picture on it. That wouldn't be too hard to forge, darling. You two should be very careful when you get I just here. met him. That guy that's posing as Thomas Kinsey, whoever that is, could be dangerous. I don't think I want to go back there anymore. Let's just leave and find a different motel. That's why the, in the just notes leave. it was saying like they could like licenses. were being persecuted for being together. Looking suspicious. I think I know where they keep it. It's in the metal cabinet inside their study, but it has an alarm system installed in it, and I have no idea how to turn it off. You can try switching off the electricity to the building. But the power switch is in the basement. Maybe, yeah. I maybe you should just go tell the cops, Mr. SpongeBob. I was the one who set it up for them. I can't remember what it was, but I must have written it down somewhere. I need to go back to my office and do some digging through my notes. My number is 0662226671. <laughs> Just give me a call later on today. Okay. Also, see if you can use your phone to send me a picture of his photo ID. I have a friend in the local police force who may be able to find out who the imposter is. I'll give it a I go. would be really but suspicious if someone was like evening evening saying all this to me. To sleep, so I can sneak into their study. Understood. By the way, don't try to take a picture of him directly. You could get in danger if he sees you doing it. I'll wait for your call tonight. Be extra careful, girls. Thanks so much for your help. Truck. Adios. Adios. Yeah, I don't trust that guy. The man in the yellow truck. The girls made their way back to the motel and waited patiently for their the staff to fall asleep. 
deep into the night, their escape plan was finally put into motion. Yeah, the loading font okay, looks like. You go downstairs and like do your usual breaking in stuff, and I'll start packing our things here. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay. Again, we have to do all the things. I don't do anything. Alright, what the hell are we doing going to the office? What was the password to get in? 3782. We're in. Just gotta get that gun. No? I thought I needed the gun. Two guns? Why not have the guns in the safe? Oh, we get to see my character? <laughs> we had to take a picture take of that. A picture? Yep. I'll do some research on this guy now. I'll let you know as soon as I find out something. Call I'll from the, the office. Off the power at six, hey, what's four, up, Catherine? Four, Thanks for that raid. Got We're it. doing good. Speak to you soon then. Bye. Six four four. I think she took the gun too. Now what? Now what? <gasps> okay. Oh yeah, the brown town prank call. You have to go find the driving licenses and let Kendra finish packing. Okay. I'm sure what she's doing is way more complicated. Rollo. Tiny, tiny, tiny town. Yeah, I guess. Oh, right, the power. But then we need the transformers. That's what the transformers are for, I think. <laughs> Pastor Harrison's tiny, tiny, tiny town. <laughs> We're gonna have to watch that now. Was this the one that was six four four? Oh no. Yeah. That's it. Big power button. Turns off all the power. Six, four, 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 foot. Hmm. All right, the safe. Is this the combination for the safe that I'm inside of right now? I don't see any other safes, so I assume. Oh, come on. Yo, look at these guns! <laughs> Hell yeah! They're, they're baby guns. They're for, for the baby. We gotta give that baby ghost a gun. 
They're like little tiny nerf guns. Oh shit, I'm stuck. That's actually um, a sponsor I've had email me one one time before. It's called Goat Guns. I actually considered it, but I was like, I don't know. It's like this little like loot box thing. And they send out a gun, like a little mini gun. It's like a one third scale. Also, Dem Shields. That 44 years. What's up, dude? It's like, you know, for like FPS people and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. With like playing Tarkov and stuff, I can kind of see the appeal. It's kind of neat. It's just like a little model gun. You know what I mean? But that's it. That's the whole thing. Like, instead of a model tank or a model airplane, it's a model gun, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, not really a good fit, probably, but... Alright, let's try to open this. 44 years. And, like, definitely kind of weird in the appeal, like, it's for kids, but, like... So, so many toys are already... There's guns, basically, so... I don't know. L6R2. We gotta reverse the Photoshop on this. Can't you do that? Can't you just, like, de-blur it? Well, how the hell are we gonna open this? Which said you were subbed to Mike for 15 years. I think on April Fool's Day, that's what it was doing. It was saying years instead. Or something like that. Or it may have been a bug, I guess. It's kind of funny. I remember this. Wait, what? L6 R2. R2. Yeah, I think we need the rest of the words. The numbers rather. Looks like someone just pissed all over these plates. Maybe not that yellow, but... Looks fucking nasty. Yeah, I think it would probably be for people who are like into airsoft and shit like that. I think that's the appeal. Oh, right. The basement. Into the basement. The Kinsey Inn. Is that a Grand Dam? Why is that modeled so well? Not on the key? No, I did. There's no roads that lead to this hotel either. Kind of a warning sign. It's just a big hatch in the middle of the parking lot. I don't want to say, I don't want to make it sound like I know how to murder someone, but like, come on. What are you doing? Also, that shadow looks very suspicious. We are going to need these, but I forget when we need them. Just take all the toilet paper. I 
I don't know. Maybe sometimes you just see things. Should we take the little gun? I wonder if I'm supposed to brute force this fucking safe. To get the other ID. Okay, we know it's an L, and the next one's an R. But what is it? L6, maybe? What does that look like? Hmm. You think it was a 2? Let's see. You were right. What do you think the next number is? 4? the last number seven no eight God damn. all right l6 r2 l2 r4 what's the last one it's not seven No, no, maybe it is. Ah, oh, fuck. You think it's L3? It's L2 again. <laughs> you guys are killing us here. All right. L1. <gasps> You're right. Fat stacks. Look at that stack right there. It's just like not even the right size. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to take these bills. They look a little weird. Ah, yes, the $17 bill. Perfect change. Let's take one of these little assault rifles, just to be careful. Just in case. Or was that the key for the hatch? Or is it the key? What did it say? Or is it the key for the hole in the basement? It's not really a hole at all. I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's they labeled the key laboratory? Well, gee. Wonder what they were making in the lab. Um, um Imagine having a meth lab and then you just have a fucking really scary picture of Johnny Depp from Benny and June with a long neck. Why would you have that? To scare people off? Oh, 
I don't like this puzzle. I thought I had it. <laughs> Please. Oh. Okay. The scale is just on. Transformer R R1 to R2. V power supply equals R1. Elevator equals R2. What the fuck? Imagine if I just got it. Where do you switch the power? Oh, in the basement. You gotta turn the basement power in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they're doing very well at selling their drugs in this basement in the middle of the desert. I don't think that they're exactly uh, having a bustling drug trade happening here. Welcome to the Cocaine Hotel. We really got to stop murdering all our patrons. Yeah, why would you be doing all this? You find, like, a creepy elevator in the fucking drug lab underneath the hotel that has ghosts and dead bodies and shit in it. I'll just take all of these. No, oh, only one at a time. I didn't see what the voltage was. I think it, is it on the power? It's on the power box, okay. Oh, right, it was 220 volts. But divided by what? What was the elevator number? 2 to 1. So 220, so it would be 110. Right? Move. Yeah, it did say... I thought it said 2 to 1. 220. Three to two. Wouldn't it be that one? Right? Didn't it just like basically say that on it? Also, if she could run a little bit quicker, we'd be doing fine. We'd be doing just fine. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's just like a math problem at the end of the game. To solve this riddle, you must. Oh my god. Imagine walking into a room for the first time, and you're just like, hey, is anyone. Oh! Oh god! Oh no, I see. I fucked up. So 110. So it would have been 1 to 2. Right? Whatever. No, no, no. We were right. We were right. I think that's it. There 
Yeah. Wait, it's going up? Wouldn't up go into the hotel? Oh, the attic. So you built an elevator to go to the attic. Okay. I thought it was going to be going down into like another lab. Need something to pry this box open with. Oh, God damn it. Where was the crowbar? In the baby's room? We gotta go all the way back there? Oh, there's a crowbar right there. Thank God. Nothing. Kinsey family. The mold in the bathroom ceiling. Why are they all just like blood seeping through the floor? Oh gosh. Loud phone. Hello? Hey, it's me. You're not gonna like what I'm about to tell you. Hey, it's me. So the guy posing as Thomas Kinsey is actually a fugitive going by the name of Says Dion. He was serving a long-term sentence for drug Says trafficking. Dion? He managed to escape from prison what? about three months ago. Says Dion? Posing as Mrs. Kinsey is most likely Donna Withams, Dion's girlfriend who was on trial for her involvement in her partner's business, but she too ran off before the conclusion of the trial. It all makes sense now. I'm in the attic of the motel. It's overflowing with drugs. And... I think I found the bodies of the whole Kinsey family. Oh, God. I'm going oh god. The you girls just stay put and be very careful. Just don't draw any attention to yourself. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay. Oh god. It's, it's, it's like the dead kid is like clinging to the torso of the dead parent. But it's done so poorly that it elicits no emotional response at all. It's just so fucking weird. Why? Like, have you ever listened to any forensic files or, like, you know, watched any true crime stuff before? The number one way all these people get caught is, like, yeah, we were too lazy to, uh, not take the body out of the attic. Or they're, like, eating them or something. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> They're just like all mixed together. Yeah, they're just dripping down. That's why I, that and peop, that's how they got caught. Because they let the blood drip out of the box and it ruined the ceiling. Then they're going to eat me. The where oh, do you shit. think you're going, little bird? Jen, let her go. Yeah, do you even know how to use that? Put it down before you hurt yourself. I have to say, you two look like a lot of trouble from the moment I saw you. You could have just minded your own business, but instead, you started snooping around. Why can't I just see all of this happening now, in one frame without having to look back and forth? Into. It didn't have to be like this. What's that? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. Them. They were going to kill us. Are you 
Are you girls okay? Yeah, we're fine. We just saw the ghosts of the Kinsey family. I think with their killers gone, they're finally at peace. So, you think all the haunting will stop from now on? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's good to no. know. No! No! <laughs> about the drugs business is that everyone thinks it's lots of easy money, but it's tough, you know, and sometimes you just want to keep all the profits to yourself. I guess with my partners conveniently killed by you, I don't have to worry about the sharing part anymore. Shh. I know it hurts. Just try to relax. You'll be over soon. It's Big Baby. This is all because of Twitter. Why does it let you look around outside? Oh no, I was just like reviewing the game while my mic was off. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's like somewhere in the middle. It's it's not bad. This piano is fucking going nuts. Sir! Please, calm down. The, the song is a creepypasta. I'm gonna have to listen to this now. <laughs> Please stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. That's where he ran out of breath. Just like, I can't. Can't go anymore. I think I was just quiet because that shit was so loud. I think that's the only reason. He broke all his fingers. When he was done, it looked like the Silent Hill piano puzzle. Just like all bloody and shit. Yeah, it's really not too bad of a game. I mean, I wish there was more stuff like this out there. It was obviously made for VR. It's lacking a lot in the quality department, but it's fun to play through. The dialogue's okay. The voice acting is fine. It's just like um, it's like an episode of like a haunting or something like that. You know what I mean on Discovery Channel. And it kind of respects your time too. Like it doesn't have you bullshitting around too much trying to find things. Whereas, like, other games are like, you find the key to find another fucking key in this Unity house. At least it wasn't, like, cookie-cutter, asset, free asset drop. You know what I mean? Like, they made it themselves, at least, so. 
it has some charm. And with that all being said, though, obviously it's derpy as heck and has a lot of issues. And but that's what made the game a little bit redeeming too. So he's getting louder. He's getting louder. Can't stop him. Help me! He's coming! He's coming in the room right now! But yeah, it has like that right amount of just like cheesy goofiness that makes it charming enough to 